We're going to look at a monitor arm, and you can spend quite a bit on these things. So we were thinking, are the cheap ones you see in Amazon and the like any good? So we've looked at this, what one is it? An InVision MX150, and it was about £30. It was, yeah. And you could spend easily £90, £100 easily. on that. yeah. And are you getting a third of the quality? I mean, is it going to be able to support the monitor? What's it like? That's what we're going to be looking. You know, is it really difficult to put together? Those sort of things. So we'll take it apart, have a look inside, fit it, see if the monitor is supported or just fall straight off. And uh, we'll, yeah, we'll take it from there. One difference there is between this one and the more expensive ones is this one takes about six kilos of weight for the monitor, but the more expensive ones will take nearer nine or more. But luckily, monitors are just getting lighter and lighter nowadays, yes. yeah. so it's much less of an issue. So let's have a look inside. Okay, okay open it up and see what we've got inside. Open it up. There we go. Instructions. Yeah, those, I think you'll probably want those. Uh, okay. They look like all the mountain oh, yeah, yeah, okay. but that's the bit that clamps it to the desk. Yeah. Uh -huh. There are a couple of different ways of fitting it. So if you've yes. got one of those desks that's got a hole in it. Or you're just prepared to put a hole in your desk. Then, yeah. then there's a fitting that it can yeah. fit through that hole. Thing. And the arm itself, how does that feel? That feels... It's not as heavy as I was expecting. Okay, so this is definitely a bit lighter than some of the other monitor arms that I've uh, come across. Yeah, this is definitely a bit lighter, but I mean, that's, yeah, a bit more plasticky, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, um, as long as it basically holds that arm and holds it steady without it drooping out the way. So, yeah, nice. I would curve be careful with that because I've yeah, got suspicion it might spring out. Yeah. It might be rather amusing to spring that hits me in the face, but uh, it yeah, look, there we have our arm, and yeah, you can use okay. this bit under here to uh, channel the cables around okay. if you want it to be a bit neater. Okay. Warning: product is spring loaded. This clamp. This is what we want. We want mm -hmm. to unpack the clamp, secure the clamp to the base using the bolt and tighten with the allen key. Oh, I see. If we turn this little bit of um, thing mm -hmm. this way, mm -hmm. the parts are numbered, each little compartment. Oh, that's good. A little tiddly, just these. Oh. There is a big note on here that says, do not adjust under any circumstances the inner central bolt of those. Ah, yes. Because that's what secures that and makes sure that it Preset for its swivel. Okay, okay, I do not do that. So, like I mentioned, this was just the uh, basically the first one that appeared on the list on Amazon for single monitor arms. It was it had that older Amazon Choice flash yes. along the choice, whatever that might mean, uh, and. Had some good like, reviews. And it um, looked like it would do what I wanted it to yes, do. Yes, came with Prime. And yeah, so for no other reasons we went for this one. And going together, like I said, a bit fiddly with these ones, but they're now lined up and it's done. Perfect. Hello, don't worry, I haven't shrunk or standing at home. I'm just tucked behind here. Uh, slightly awkward, but. Uh, should suffice whilst we get this put on. So, big decisions, where do you want it? Um, any more towards the here if possible. And the little feet are marking the desk a little bit, but hopefully they'll just come off. Uh, that. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. Do you want it reasonably tight, but not over-tight? If you've got a very thin desk, then you may need to put a little bit of wood or something just uh, between the bottom of the desk and the clamp because otherwise you'll basically run out of thread on the bolts. This is just about right 
Um, the desk is about that thick. Any thinner, got quite a thin desk, and you'll probably need a bit of a, a shim, I think is the yes. technical term, or basically just a hunk of wood or something to ensure that you can get a good clamp on. Right. You'll notice the top of this has cutouts. So what you can actually do is initially screw in a couple of bolts at the top and then you can just drop it straight on and then tighten it up. It should make it a lot easier. There you go. There you've got the top ones in, the bottom ones are lining up perfectly. That's going to be holding okay. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, this isn't exactly a long term test, uh, but it seems to be holding fine and unless it just starts using gas over time, um, it's, it's holding its you know, holding position when you move, holds the position again. Uh, yeah. So yeah, impressions are, it's just a bit lighter and a bit, well, less bulky and sturdy than the very expensive ones, but it seems to be doing the job. And uh, yeah, the only really fiddly thing was initially getting those three bolts lined up at the bottom on there but apart from that it's been fine so the answer to the question can you just pick up a 30 quid monitor arm and it doesn't collapse on you uh, yes it seems to be fine holding the monitor was easy enough to put together yeah very good I'm impressed Mm. And thank you very much for fitting it for me. No problem. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. It really does help. If you've got something burning you want to get off your chest about monitor arms, pop out there in, in the comments. Always good to read. If you'd like to see more from us, subscribe. I've been Jeff. I've been Frankie. This has been a Mammoth Tech Show talking about budget monitor arms. And you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Morris. Hello, Morris. Hello, Morris. Morris is joining in. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello, Morris. Say hello to the viewers, Morris. Morris says hello. I've been Jeff. I've been Frankie. This has been the Mammoth Take. This is there, but there, but there. I forgot the name of the old show. <laughs> the Mammoth Take. Yeah, there, sure.